Hello friends, in this video we will discuss general character of algae. So what are the general character of algae? First, we know that algae is a chlorophyll bearing eukaryotic organisms. These are chlorophyll bearing eukaryotic organisms means autotrophic organisms. Second is they have thalloid like body. Thalloid like body. Because their body is not differentiated into true root, shoot and leaves. It is simple thallus like. It, it is a primitive type of uh, plant. So it has thallus like body. <clears throat> but this thallus shows great variation in shape and size. So shape and size of this thallus shows great variation among algae. Third is occurs, they occurs in variety of habitats but mostly they are aquatic. We know that most of algae have their habitat in aquatic region or they are aquatic, mostly they are aquatic. Fourth one is these are eukaryotic organisms, chlorophyll bearing eukaryotic organisms, but they have distinct cell wall. And cell wall is made up of cellulose. In most of algae, reserve food material is starch. Except some uh, exception, the reserve food material is mostly starch. And the sixth one is they have pigment that is chlorophyll A, B, carotenoid, and xanthophylls. However, in some groups, uh, according to groups of algae, these uh, pigment may vary, but mostly they are chlorophyll A, B, carotenoid, and xanthophyll. Seventh one is reproduction. Reproduction in algae occurs through vegetative, asexual, and sexual mode. In case of vegetative, it occurs by fragmentation, hormogonia formation, or you can say fusion. But in case of asexual reproduction, it occurs through motile and non-motile spores. But sexual reproduction is of three types. And all three types of sexual reproduction is found in algae, that is isogamy, and isogamy and ugam. So all three type of reproduction is found in algae. Eighth one is sexual reproductive organs are normally single celled. They are normally single celled but when they are multicellular each cell have capacity or you can say each cell is fertile and in other words you can see that each cell have capacity to form gamete and these sexual reproductive organs are not covered by 
स्टेराइल जैकेट इन हायर प्लांट्स वी नो दैट देर इज ए कवरिंग आउटसाइड गैमेट्स सुपोज दीज आर गैमेट्स सो यू मस्ट फाइंड ए जैकेट प्रोटेक्टिव लेयर आउटसाइड दिस गैमेट बट दीज आर सिंपल ऑर्गेनिजम दे डू नॉट हैव सच कवरिंग इन केस ऑफ एलगी every cell have capacity to form gamete so they don't have such covering so that's why i am saying that uh, they are not covered by strial jacket both the generations are independent means gametophytic generation and sporophytic generation gametophytic generation is haploid generation sporophytic generation is diploid generation both are independent no one is dependent on other normally in higher plants there is a dependence of one generation on another generation suppose in case of bryophyte this is haploid this is gametophyte and this is sporophyte so this sporophyte is dependent on this gametophyte but in case of algae both occurs independently gametophyte and sporophyte they don't have dependency on each other or you can say any one is not dependent on another and the last one is they show clear alteration of generation means generation alters you will find a plant body that is haploid of same species this is plant body suppose this is a algal body so this is haploid and you will find another algal body that is diploid so generation alters when first form gametophyte then form sporophyte then will form gametophyte so generation alters by forming alternatively gametophytic gametophytic and sporophytic plant body so these are general characters of algae so first is algae is chlorophyll bearing eukaryotic organism or autotrophic organism or you can say photosynthetic organism these are eukaryotic photosynthetic organisms they have thallus like body their body is simple but this thallus shows great variation or you can add one uh, you can also add it can be unicellular or unicellular are mostly microscopic or it can be multicellular they occur in variety of habitats you will find algae in every habitat but but most of them are aquatic they have distinct cell wall that is made up of cellulose reserve food material is except a uh, few exceptions and normally the uh, genetic material sorry reserve food material is starch they have uh, chlorophyll pigments chlorophyll a b carotenoid xanthophyll however they varies according to the group of alga reproduction vegetative asexual and sexual vegetative occurs through fragmentation fission budding hormogonia asexual occurs through various type of motile and non motile spores and sexual reproductions occur through isogamy and isogamy oogamy normally sexual reproductive organs jo hai that are single cell but they may be multicellular when they are multicellular each cell have capability to form gamete and they are not covered by strial jacket both the generation are independent gametophytic generation is separate and it uh, sporophytic generation is also separate it have they have nothing to do with each other and they show clear alteration of generation and the last one is here no embryo formation no embryo formation after fertilization or zygote formation normally gametes fuses and form zygote so this zygote then divides and form embryo but here in case of algae this zygote divide by meiosis 
and form spores, haploid neospores. So here zygotic meiosis occurs so that embryo formation does not occur. So these are the general character of algae.